I mean, uh, with Donald J. Trump ending uh, the talk of the STEM checks until after the November election, it's not Donald Trump's fault, honestly. Everybody wants to blame Donald Trump for wrongdoings. Now, don't get me wrong. The man's not a saint. He has done a lot of things that could be talked about. He's done a lot of things out of character. But this, I mean, this this ain't honestly his fault. Uh, you got to talk about Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell. Those two have been the main top, uh, main top two main suspect, main two people. When it comes to the talk of the stimulus checks, it's either something that Nancy Pelosi done or something that Mitch McConnell done. But honestly, who loses the most in this conversation? It's the people, the American people, that are the real losers in this. We can blame Donald Trump all day. We can blame Joe Biden all day. We can blame Mike Pence, Kamala Harris. We can blame the Democrats, Republicans. We can blame Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi all day, but we must blame ourselves. Why? Because we are not willing to work together. Democrats and Republicans both cannot sit in the room for five minutes. Honestly, it's time for everybody to come together. It is time for silliness, silliness to come out of the world, come out it's, it's time for us to stop playing games. Honestly. I bet you we could put a five-year-old kindergarten in the White House. They can act a whole lot better than some people that are in the White House right now. <sighs> Honestly, I mean, the people, the American people are the ones that are hurt. Now, I'm for, now fortunately, I'm one of the lucky ones that's blessed. And I'm very blessed to be in the position that I am as far as owning my own record label in Global Force Records, being a music artist for nine years, a music producer, uh, being a YouTube and social media legend, uh, being uh, a minister for four years, now assistant pastor, uh, going on two years this January at One Way Missionary Pentecostal Church. And I'm very blessed to have the things that I'm that I have. I'm very blessed to have a great life and to be in a great position. But there's some people out there that don't have that lucky fortune, that, that don't have that blessing, that don't have that satisfaction. I mean, honestly, it's time for Democrats and Republicans, it's time for everybody to come together. We're not going to get anything done arguing all day. We're not going to get nothing done by blaming the, the Democrats for things and blaming the Republicans for things. We're not going to get no uh, justice, no peace. We're not going to get a single thing done in the world arguing and being silly. And that's all it is, is we're being silly and everything. But it's time for us as Americans, it's time for us as leaders to come together. So we must come together as one. I mean, the American people need something now. And it's it's a shame because there are thousands of people that are losing their jobs, thousands of people that are losing their lives, thousands of people that are losing their careers and education, thousands of people that don't know where their next paycheck's gonna come from. Thousand people that are not able to pay rent. It's sad and I'm, I feel ashamed and embarrassed as an American at times to not be able to help the Americans. I feel ashamed and embarrassed sometimes as an American to look at our leaders that are constantly arguing and not helping American people. And it's nobody's fault but us leaders, us Americans. So we got to come together 
And we, we got to help the American people because there's people that are suffering in America. There's people that are suffering around the world. But the STEM checks, come on. We just can't leave the American people alone. We got to help them out some way, shape, or form. And if all of us celebrities, leaders, athletes would all pitch in a thousand dollars, would all pitch in money of some sort, there would nobody who would be hungry that would be out in the streets. But we've got to come together as Americans and we got to put an end to foolishness.